Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits here again, and we're gonna do another computer craft tutorial. Um, you know, you guys seem to like that one, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. So, uh, in our last tutorial, we did this right here. <coughs> now, we're gonna work into something a little more, a little different. So I'm gonna erase this code, and then we're gonna we're gonna start completely fresh. Okay. So first of all, let's let's get into something uh, that's pretty useful. It is called a while statement, and basically what this will do is we'll run the code depending on what the parameters are. So if you didn't understand that, uh, let me just break it down. Okay. So uh, if we have something like if one is equal to, we gotta remember we gotta do uh, double equals. If one is equal to one, and then uh, we say do at the end, then it will run this code for however long one is equal to one. Obviously, that's gonna be for an infinite number of time. So you know you you get the idea. Say if we want to do a variable, so if a is equal to um, 1, then it's going to do this this little bit of code that we put in here. So we're going to say um, print uh, a. Okay. <coughs> so one other thing we have to do is divine define a local variable up at the top so um, uh, this isn't necessary to make it local because we aren't dealing with functions yet but yeah so we're gonna define a variable up here we're gonna just set it to one and it will just print a infinitely but we're gonna say um, at the end of the code we're gonna set it to or yeah, we're just we're gonna end this code, okay? Okay, so let's just run that. Now it's going to just uh, constantly print a, and that's gonna show up in the console. But it's probably going to quit. So let's do let's start this again, um, and I'll explain why this happened. So see how it's uh, infinitely just printing one over and over and over and over. Um, well, we can't have that. So let's go back to tutorial or dot temp. So we have this little bit of code here, but um, the way that computer craft works is if it's in a loop, you're gonna have to have something called a sleep and Basically, the way this works is this is a function that will sleep for a certain amount of seconds. So, if we set it to 0 0.1, and you can do decimal points in here. So, set it to 0 0.1, it's just going to print 1 every tenth of a second. So, that's pretty simple there. Now, something I want to get into, um, since we've uh, done this part about the while statement. I want to get into stuff like functions. Okay, functions for some people can be a little bit challenging, but if you have a a certain understanding of algebra, this will be relatively simple. Okay, so we're going to do function. So that is the uh, code that you do to set a function and we're gonna name it okay so tut for a tutorial and at the end you just have your parameters but since we don't have any parameters um, well you don't have to put any parameters so um, inside this uh, you're going to put a certain amount of code we're gonna say um, I guess print we're gonna print um, onto the screen 
and also we're going to set A to 3 or something. And then at the end, if you want that variable to actually come outside the function, so, so we have a local function right here. If we want that variable to come outside the function, then we need to do a return. And right here, you would put all your variables that you want to um, let outside the function. So, you know, you could put um, A, you could put D, E, you know, however many functions or however many variables that you have in your code. So, um, to run this function, We'll have to go to a certain section of the code, and we do tut, and then the parentheses. So, let's run this. Oh yeah, uh, you also have to end the function. It acts like any other statement. So, it will just print tutorial. Pretty simple. Um, now let's say we wanted to alter some variables. So, let's have a b variable up here. And say b equals three or something, um, or say we're going to also print uh, another variable. We're going to print b, but b isn't in the function, so therefore you're going to have to add it to the parameters. So what you'd say is you just put b inside the parameters and then any other parameters that you need you just do you know a comma in between so uh, we're gonna say b is equal to one okay oh and also um, down here you would set this as b So there, it just printed one. Um, and that is all I have for, this is all I have time for today. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. Um, if you want, maybe I'll make an advanced computer craft tutorial, but I will see you in the next episode, and bye.